Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to another wonderful Saturday tutorial. Um, for I'm doing a series of celebration items, and this week I'm fe featuring the Island Vibes stamp set. So the card we made on Thursday is right here. Isn't that cute? Uh, so I have another one. Now this set only has three stamps in it. But they're super cute, and they also coordinate with a couple of our other um, tropical stamp sets. We have Timeless Tropical and Paradise Palms, and they both have dies that go with this. But I'm going to focus on this today, but I'm going to pair it with the Special Moments. This is another celebration stamp set. I love all the sentiments, and I love that they have uh, larger sizes, medium, and then some nice little teeny tiny ones. So I'm going to use the Hello Sunshine stamp today. And then I'm going to use another one of our great papers from Celebration. This is the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. And I love this because it has some sunshines. So that is what we're going to do today. All right, let's get started. We're going to start off with a piece of early espresso. This is four and a quarter by 11. Sometimes I like to do fun little cards that open from the bottom. So we can always, you know, switch it up a little bit. Then I have a piece of the Suns uh, designer paper. The other side has these rainbows and suns, but I'm just going to go with the, the, um, the bumblebee colored side uh, for today. So let's adhere this. All right, and this piece is cut four by five and a quarter. And then I have another little strip. This is, I think, maybe two and a quarter inches. This has uh, got a little bit of a rainbow stripe, and the other side has this blue. But I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to tear. I'm going to tear it away from me. Okay, I want to tear both ends. I'm tearing it away because I don't want the torn shot, torn side you know, that's kind of white from the inside of the paper, um, exactly showing. So I'm just going to rough it up a little bit on the edges and curl it up just a hair towards me. Okay. And you can rough up the whole thing if you want. I'm just going to do those edges, I think. All right. We're going to adhere this down. All right, to the side here. So that's kind of our base. We're gonna go ahead and put a piece on the inside since this is so dark. I have a piece of white that's also four by five and a quarter. This was a little extra strip left over from um, the piece of uh, DSP when I cut it. So I'm just gonna add this to the bottom just for a little fun accent when we open our card. We'll cut off that extra. Okay, I'm going to hear that down. Isn't that cute? Just a little strip of, of some bright sunshine when you open the card. Okay, so let's get started on our focal piece. I have a piece of um, early espresso and then a piece of basic white. So we're going to take our pineapple stamp and there's because it's it's a distinctive stamp and it's it's two different colors. So you, I'm not going to do this all one color. I want to do yellow and green. So you have a couple options. You can sponge the color. You can use your ink pads. You can use. I've got a couple of these mini ones that I save for my paper pumpkin kits. We also sell these uninked, so you could buy a, a set of them and ink them as you need them, or you can use your markers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mixture. I'm going to do the bottom in crushed curry. And I'm using this because it does have it's a nice dark yellow. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my marker for the top. Only because I want to be pretty, pretty careful about where my ink's going to go on the bottom here, close to the yellow. So I have a little more control with my marker 
on how I want that ink to go. I don't want it to be straight. I just want it to be like coming out the, the top there. Okay, make sure we get that covered. I'm gonna get a little hep on it. I'm gonna get ink on my face here if I'm not careful. All right, well, let's hopefully get this centered and straight as, as well as we can. Ooh, ah, isn't that cute? Okay, we're gonna use our blender pen. I'm gonna do this while the ink is still a little damp. Blend that color in there, and then we'll do the green. As you see, there's some white right here, so if we use our blender pen, we can kind of fill in that white, make it look a little more solid. And that it just autumn. I love these these types of stamps because the shading's already done for you. I don't even have to worry about it. I just like scribble in my blender pen, and it's it's perfect. Love it. Okay, so I have my little Hello Sunshine stamp. I'm going to do this in early espresso. And let's see. We're just going to stamp it right here. Hello, sunshine. That's so cute. I love little teeny stamps. <laughs> I love big stamps too, but I really do love the little teeny ones. Okay. We're going to adhere this right to the center. Let's pop this up with some dimensionals. I just, I had opened a new pack of minis and I need to open another pack. All my dimensionals are in my class supplies right now. So this is what I have. I need to go grab myself some bigger ones. Oh, we'll throw a couple more on here. Okay. And we're going to just pop this up kind of right do it pretty close to the center. I like this little strip of rainbow because this is pretty bold. This is a bold sun pattern, but the little strip of rainbow breaks it up and it also gives, you know, a little, little more texture to the card and more of the rainbow feel. Uh, so we have sunshine and rainbows. All right, we're going to use a little of this gold trim. We're going to make a little bow. Just going to tie a little bow. don't want it too big. So you can tie your bow and then you can pull the ends, the little tails, to adjust what size you want your loops to be. That looks about right. Okay, I'm going to take a glue dot. I'm going to take this glue dot and kind of roll it up a little bit because it's wider than my ribbon is. And I just want it kind of a little narrower. Stick it right there on the top of the pineapple part and stick my bow on and then let's add a few of these gold uh, metallic pearls love love these things I love the silver ones too but I like the gold the most okay we're just gonna sprinkle a whole lot of love a whole lot of gold love on our card here And when you're doing your cards, you just go to town at home. Now at class, I limit you. <laughs> I know you guys give me a hard time. But you know, when you got 30 or 40 people making cards, sometimes you have to limit. You can't say go wild. But you can always order some and then you go wild. Okay, there we go. That is it. I mean, how simple and cute is that? I love that pineapple. It's a, it's a great pineapple stand for welcome. Um, so a lot of times you'll see welcome signs or, you know, pineapples um, on people's doors or when you come in their house. Now, this did not have a welcome. I wish it did. It didn't. But I would have put welcome, you know, or congrats on your new home or, you know, whatever you want to do. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. The link for the measurements and um, supplies is posted below. If you place a $50 order this month with me, you can earn this for free. 
I mean, who doesn't want free stamp sets? Now, if you use, you place the order online using the host code posted below, um, not only with a $50 order will you get this free stamp set, but you will also get a free gift from me in the mail. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, and I will see you back here Monday for another stamp set using the Island Vibes uh, celebration set. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.